Hey there YouTube, welcome back to Rob's shop. It's been a while since I put out a video, but I got another project and I wanna share it with you guys. I picked up this really sweet, massive, six inch wide jaw vise. Uh, I found it on Facebook Marketplace. And I've always wanted a really large vise that's on a stand, not one that's mounted to a workbench. And I wanted a really big one where uh, it can take some abuse and I can be able to bend steel. I can hammer on steel and bend it over and stuff like that. But this is a Holland 16 inch. The thing is 27 inches long. Uh, it's like 13 inches tall. Like I said, six inch jaws. So I want to build a heavy duty stand for this. So let me show you what I'm thinking. So what I got is this large brake drum came off a 10 wheeler. Pretty good size. It's heavy and also a hub that came off 10 wheeler and what i thought here is this lines right up and i can bolt it and then my steel guy hooked me up with this six inch diameter pipe uh, i think it's like a quarter inch thick and i'll cut off a section of that and i'll weld it to the top of this and then my steel guy also hooked me up with this inch and a half thick plate uh, I think he said it's 16 by 18 I haven't measured it to, to confirm but um, I asked for one inch plate he brought me inch and a half I'm fine with that the heavier the better I want something that's really heavy and really beefy and, and can take a lot of abuse so I think this is gonna work pretty good let's get started Two angle grinder blades and about 10 minutes we got her. The vise sits on here pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. One thing I'll do is I'll put a, a gusset right here. I think that'll help out. It's heavy. It's gonna work good though.
Well, I had like an inch to go before I was completely done welding with this thing. And I ran out of wire. Go figure. Got it all primed, we'll let it dry and we'll throw some black paint on it. I'm gonna keep the top and the edges just raw steel like this. Um, I'm gonna be setting stuff here and pounding on stuff and hammering. So I don't want, if I painted it, it'd get all chipped and stuff, but I kind of like the bare steel look. So we'll leave it like that and we'll keep going. So after throwing everything together, um, I feel like it was heavy enough, but I also felt like the base of it should be heavier. Uh, so it's not as tippy if I'm, if I have something in that vise and I'm really reefing on it. So what I'm going to do is I've got a brake rotor in here and I'm going to lay that flat and then I got the holes and stuff taped up with some masking tape. And I got a few other rotors I'm gonna stack in here and then I'm gonna fill it up with concrete and then it should be really heavy and I don't think it'll be as tippy.